Hello! In this tutorial I want to introduce you to the drag and drop builder of Infusionsoft and show you how easy you can send a newsletter via the broadcast function. The drag and drop builder in Infusionsoft allows you to set up emails and create web forms and landing pages. With the drag and drop builder, even a layman can professionally model an email or a web form within minutes and adjust it to the corporate identity of his company. You meet the drag and drop builder and the campaign builder within a sequence under communications, email, and also in the broadcast section. Furthermore, you can find the drag and drop email builder under the templates. When you model your email here, you have the advantage that you can access these templates from the campaign builder and when sending a broadcast. You can even access the templates you created via the drag and drop builder in the email function under the contacts where there is no drag and drop builder available. Before we go on to the drag and drop builder for web forms, let's have a closer look at the drag and drop email builder. Let's go back to the templates and create a new email template. First, enter a title under which you find your template. Below the communication fields from, to and topic that are typical of an email, you find a button to model the content of your email. Provided you don't want to do this in HTML source code, you can get to the drag and drop email builder here. Infusionsoft offers you a template from which you can start. If you don't want to use the elements from the template, you can delete those via the little trash can symbol. You can add those and other elements to your email via the drag and drop builder at all times. You can display and hide the tools of the drag and drop builder here. First decide whether you want to set up your newsletter with one or two columns. Here you can set the total width of your email as well as the amount of the second column. Up here you set if you want to have a header and a footer. These are characterized by going over the total width of the email. The pre-header section is a section above the actual content of your email. Since the Show Form controller is part of the Social Sharing layout, an integrated web form will only display when the content of the email is accessed via a social media platform. How you give the recipients of this email the opportunity to share this mail on the social media platforms, you will see shortly when I explain the snippets. If the rough structure of your email is laid out, you can add placeholders for every single content. You can add whole articles, headings, text segments and pictures. Pictures can also be added within text segments. Just place your cursor within the text where the image should display and paste your image via the icon in the formatting bar. Define an alternative text for the people who cannot see the image and enter how the image should be aligned in relation to the text. You can only place a header in an email once. If it was already used, the function is grayed out. If you want to highlight certain sections of your email, use a spotlight. You can change graphics by double-clicking them and selecting a new one. The size of the graphics you use will be displayed here. If your graphics in your email should be displayed in a different size than it exists, we suggest you always adhere to the aspect ratio of the original graphics since the graphics will be stretched or clinched otherwise. We also advise you against changing the size of your graphics this way. The picture quality suffers considerably. Use the spacer or divider to separate your content visually. Incorporate a YouTube video by entering the ID of the video. 
You can cause an Infusionsoft action like the sending of another email or the assignment of a tag as soon as your contact watched the video. You have the same opportunity when you use social media links to share this mail. You can add more options so your contacts have the opportunity to follow your social media profile with one click. Use the HTML snippet if you want to add an individual part to your mail that you created in HTML. If you want, you can add a document to your email as an attachment and place your signature under the mail. You can define your signature under Admin, Users, in the Signatures tab of the respective employee. Under Style, you can adjust the email to the colors of your corporate identity. If not one of these styles does meet your requirements, choose a style and change the colors manually via the Color Chooser or via the hexadecimal color values or you select a color from the picture with a pipette. This way, you can set the color for all sections of your email and save this style for upcoming emails and templates. Now that you created the layout for your email, you can insert texts. If you want to adjust the text layout, you can find the standard functions that you know from your text processing software up here in the formatting bar. If you want to insert placeholders in the text that Infusionsoft replaces with individual fields of your contacts, you can find these placeholders under Merge. Just place your cursor where you want to insert the placeholder and click on the field that you want to insert. Your placeholder will be inserted automatically. Aside from the multiple fields of your contacts, there are additional fields available to you like download links or product codes that you deposited with your digital products. As you can see, there are countless options to individualize your email templates. In combination with all the automation possibilities that we talked about in the Campaign Builder tutorial, Infusionsoft is a powerful marketing tool that can react to your customers' wishes individually without them having the feeling of communicating with a machine. Save the email template and make sure that the spam score is fine. Otherwise, it is possible that your email is blocked by the servers of your contacts and therefore never reaches its recipient. Activate your email template before you save it so it is available in all sections of Infusionsoft where you can send emails. Let's have a look at the drag and drop builder for forms. The drag and drop builder for forms hides in the campaign builder in the goals. To be exact, behind the goal submits a web form, submits a landing page form and submits an internal form. With the external forms that are filled by your contacts, aside from the drag and drop builder for the form, a drag and drop builder for the thank you page is deposited. The thank you page is displayed to your contacts when he sends a form. Since you already know this function from the email builder, we will dedicate ourselves to the form builder.
In principle, the form builder is built in the same way as the email builder, but there are additional functions available to you with which you can create your questionnaires. On the basis of the information you received, you can assign tags to your contacts. You already know the content section under the snippets and the style section from the email builder. The layout section is also very similar. In addition to the functions for header, footer and the size of the form, there are functions that allow you to adjust the labels to the fields. Now to the form-specific fields. If you want to request the last name in addition to the first name, go to the settings of the name module and activate the last name. If required is activated, the form cannot be sent if this field is empty. If you want to set the first name as a mandatory field and the last name as optional, take a second name module, activate the last name and deactivate required for that last name. Now there is no star at your last name that marks the mandatory fields. In the settings for the email field, you can set which email field of your contact database the email address entered should be assigned to. The labels of all fields can be individualized in the respective setting. You can request phone numbers and addresses and additional fields of your contacts the same way. Under Other, you can apply your own field if the ones available do not meet your needs. A hidden field won't be displayed in the web form. Through this field, you can fill a field of your choice with a value you defined here when sending the form. With checkboxes and radio buttons, you can request different options in the form. For each option, you can deposit one or more tags that will be assigned to the contact when choosing the respective option. The difference between radio buttons and checkboxes is that with radio buttons, only one option can be chosen and with checkboxes, you can select multiple options at a time. If you want to use your current form for recruiting new referral partners, use the Referral Partner module. If a new partner registers via this module, Infusionsoft will create a new contact and a referral partner. Set the parent in a multi-step referral partner system, set the commission program that will be assigned to the referral partner, and consider whether your partner can decide on his or her own if they are notified about sales or new leads. In addition, you can set a lifespan of cookies if you want to define how long after you sent the links the referral partner should be benefited. You'll learn more about the referral partner topic and commissions in the first video of our crash course about contacts. To make sure that this form is filled out by a person, use a capture code. This is usually placed near the Submit buttons. If needed, you can model your Submit button individually. Now you can test the form you just set up real quickly and if everything runs properly, you can unlock it. In the settings, you can determine how to handle contacts that already exist and to which address a notification should be sent when a web form is filled out. You get the embed code of your recently created form or a direct Infusionsoft link to the form here. To integrate the web form in your own website, just copy the code and paste it in the body of your website at the favorite place.
upload the changes to your server, and the web form already works. In addition, you can Twitter the form and provide it to Facebook. Unlike other forms that are only managed through the Campaign Builder, emails can be sent independent of campaigns as a broadcast. In the first step of each broadcast module, you can choose which customers you want to send your message to. If you want to send broadcasts to certain customer groups more often, it makes sense to save the respective search. You can do that via the contacts. Select criteria via Start Over that you want to match your contacts to. Those can be certain letters in your contacts, a lead score that your contact reached, or tags that your contact owns. Click on Search and see the result of your selection. If you want to refine the selection, you can do this via Edit Criteria. If you are happy with your selection, you can save it via Save. Please note that your search will last under the contact until you make a new selection or you reset the filter. Now back to broadcasts. The first step is the same for all six modules. Make a selection or use the criteria that you just saved. The contacts that match the criteria of your search will be selected and not the ones that match the criteria when saving your search. You can use your created template with the email broadcast. You are already done and you can send your newsletter. In the fax broadcast, you can choose up to three documents like Word documents or JPEG images that you want to send to a fax machine. This only works if you placed a fax number with your contacts. The voice broadcast module is only available when you place a phone number in the voice and fax settings via who you can identify yourself as the caller. You can define times when your calls should take place. You can record different messages via a menu-driven phone call that will play when a person or an answering machine takes the call. A classic or post-it letter mailing will be placed as a fulfillment job on the dashboard of the user that the mailing is assigned to. Your employee can easily print a Word document for the letters and one for the address labels. Standard labels are already deposited. When your employee finishes his job, he closes it via complete. Fulfillment lists are lists that the contacts who you meet in the first step of the selection combine in a list in CSV format. Here you can define which fields of your contacts should be included in the list. Add an attachment if needed. You can send this list to any person. If you want to place the fulfillment list on the dashboard of one of your employees, you can use the queued fulfillment list and perform the same steps. Your employee receives an email and the list will be placed on his dashboard. Fulfillment lists can be used when one of your employees or another contractor should send products to your customers. I hope you learned a few things about the drag and drop builder and about the broadcast function of Infusionsoft and wish you a lot of fun when using the newly learned things.